Yeah, you know, it is absolutely heaving today. CES has now officially opened. The crowds are pouring in, trying to get out of the rain as well, because unseasonably, it is chucking you down outside. So everybody's in here, everybody's milling around, seeing what's on offer, and there is a huge amount of people here. We're told that this year there are 175,000 people here at CES, all descending on these various show floors. They're spread out across the city in the hotels on one side of the strip, over here in the convention center. There really is so much to see. And a lot of these companies are coming from China this year as well. In fact, of the 4,500 exhibitors, around a quarter of them are from China. 10% of them, around 500 or so, are from Shenzhen. In fact, if you are a Chinese company looking to be noticed, you can't do much worse than being here this week, as uh, Mark Nu find out. Already the most vibrant AI platform in China. In the heart of CES, the self-proclaimed Google of China, Baidu, holds an event called Baidu World. Chief Operating Officer Qi Lu says Baidu is focused on accelerating artificial intelligence at what he calls China speed. The United States is still by far the best. However, the gap between China and the United States are closing, and they're closing fast. And what will give an edge to China is a much larger population in a fast-growing market. That allows for greater experimentation. On a live stream from Beijing, this was billed as the first ever self-driving parade, complete with sedans, minibuses, street sweepers, and delivery vehicles, all navigating without a human driver. Buddy, thank you very much for the delivery, especially in such a very cold morning. At CES, you'll also find Chinese startups like Copper, which began in Silicon Valley, but moved to Beijing, where it could draw from a wider pool of engineers. Copper has built mobile software and devices that monitor a woman's fertility cycle, and later during pregnancy, help to keep the mother and fetus healthy. I was trying to get pregnant, but I tried so hard for four years already. There is no product helping me to, you know, get pregnant efficiently. A concept came in me that probably women need something, you know, to get to know themselves well. And at this year's CES, virtual reality exhibits are actually down 30%, while augmented reality exhibits are up 20%. And part of that trend is the Shanghai company RealMax, which is just about to release this augmented reality headset. I slip it on and enter an entire new world. With a 100 degree range of view, the headset will have one of the largest fields of visions in the augmented reality industry. CES is also the place for many Chinese startups to get wider exposure to an international audience. My company first time show the product here, so very exciting and, yeah, also nervous. Wu is from Shenzhen and has created an eye mask that monitors your sleep and uses information from the wearer's DNA to adjust lights and sound to foster better sleep. I hope through the uh, sleep data and uh, gene technology, I can find a new sleep gene to help people to get better sleep. So whether big or small, Chinese companies are increasingly choosing CES as a venue to pursue their entrepreneurial dreams. Mark New, CGTN, Las Vegas. So a lot of money to be made for those Chinese companies here at CES this year. And speaking of money, we're going to talk to Michael Oved, who's from a company called AirSwap. So first of all, Michael, imagine you're talking to a complete idiot. What does your company do? Okay. Uh, um, so AirSwap is a trading platform that's built on the Ethereum network. We're building what's called a decentralized exchange. So a decentralized exchange is an exchange where you can trade assets, but it doesn't live anywhere. It lives everywhere. So it's all cryptocurrencies. Like, so, I mean, people are obs uh, know about Bitcoin, but it's that kind of family. Correct. And specifically, it'll be ERC-20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. So basically, uh, on the Ethereum network, on the Ethereum blockchain, you can deploy assets called ERC-20 tokens. And this has been extremely popular over the past year or two. So what makes your product different to all the others that are out there at the moment? So we, we're choosing a strictly peer-to-peer -peer design, which allows for scalability, privacy, so and fairness. So peer-to-peer -peer -peer is where you just directly give it to a person as opposed to going through Correct. Like a, a, an intermediary. Correct. Right. So, so in the classic exchange model, there's an exchange. You have to go and deposit your assets. You have to open an account. You have to deposit your assets. They have all your information. They have your identity. In this case, you can just trade with people peer-to-peer -peer directly. 
Okay. How much appetite is there for these kinds of cryptocurrencies at the moment? I mean, we've seen Bitcoin's obviously doing very well. Yeah, um, I think, you know, I think uh, all the, all the, there's a very healthy appetite, and I think we're only scratching the surface of seeing Wall Street actually get into this. So in the case of normal assets, really, it goes, it starts at Wall Street, and then after a while, it'll trickle down to Main Street. But in this case, it's very unique because it started on Main Street. It started with the average person and now is only making it to Wall Street. And now you guys have been going for, what, a year or so, you were saying? We've, we're just under a year old, yeah. And how's, how are things going? It's, it's great. We have a great team. We hired a, you know, a bunch of really talented people uh, around you know, our marketing, our, our technology, our engineers are all top, top of the line. Uh, and we're, we're, we have a lot of resources, and we're up to 15 people, probably up to 20 people soon. Uh, and we'll be launching the platform later this year in 2018. And you guys are, are entering for a prize here as well? Excuse me? You guys are in a competition here as well? Yes, so we, we are competing in the Extreme Tech Challenge. We are one of the semi-finalists. There's only 10 companies that have been selected from around the world to compete in this. And we'll be presenting uh, on Thursday afternoon. The top three companies will be chosen to, chosen to go to Necker Island with uh, 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 the, other, the other three companies um, to compete in the finals. So just to give um, a, 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 an example of how important CES is to startups, what kind of impact would winning that have on you? I mean, is it just like you get given a prize, you get given a trophy, you know, what does it do? I think being in the competition and just interacting with these with these other companies there and interacting with the entire community at CES. So CES is huge. I mean, it's 250,000 people this year. Uh, so the amount of exposure that you get uh, with a small company like ours, it's very important for us to get our name out to people who are in the crypto space, but also people that are just in, in Main Street. So it's really, really about us. We're, we're just trying to evangelize our, our, um, our product. We're trying to make it the premier place to trade cryptocurrencies. And so CES is kind of a stepping stone for that. All right, Michael. Thank you very much. That's Michael over there from Airswap. And as we say, a lot of money to be made. This is really the perfect place if you are a startup, you want to be seen. It just takes that one person to see you and invest, and the rest is history, as they say.